walk. It should be like dancing, like you back up. Like you see how he's following my body language. Good boy, good boy. And I promise you that when you have a connection with your horse on the ground, it's gonna carry over to the saddle. And for me, I don't wanna get hurt. I don't wanna get in a fight with my horse. And so I know that if I spend a little time with just simple stuff like this, you have to lead your horse around anyways. You might as well make sure they're paying attention to I'm Amelia. Today I'm giving you three groundwork exercises that you must do with your horse every single day. Check out the description. I'm doing a free webinar on Sunday, January 8th on groundwork. I also have a groundwork masterclass for you to check out. Here's the thing you guys, groundwork is so important. I cannot stress it enough. Groundwork has saved my life. I do it with every single horse that I ride, whether it's a young horse or a Grand Prix horse. And the truth is that you need to be able to communicate with your horse on the ground, and then that transfers over to under saddle. So in today's video, I'm gonna give you three really simple things that you can do with your horse on the ground to just check in with your horse, make sure that they're listening and that you can communicate with them before you get into the saddle. Nothing is worse than feeling out of control on a horse when you're riding them. That's when you get hurt, you get afraid, you lose your confidence. It's really not a good thing. So the first thing that I do with all of my horses every day, you can do this with a halter when you're leading your horse from their stall to the cross ties, is just some simple transitions on the ground, making sure that your horse is raiding with you. So what I mean by that, and you'll be surprised how many horses don't do this? So you get your horse out of the stall and you're walking it to get ready for it to ride. When you walk, your horse should walk. When you stop, your horse should stop. If you back up, your horse should back up. If you walk, your horse should walk forward. If you stop, your horse should stop. So this is really, really important for several reasons. One, the biggest thing is to make sure that your horse is with you. Whenever you're leading your horse, your horse needs to be following your energy and paying attention to you. And a lot of times horses just completely ignore you. When you stop, they just keep walking. Um, when you ask them to back up, they won't back up. This is a huge problem, one for safety, because if your horse isn't raiding with you, and something spooks them, they're gonna run over the top of you. You're not gonna be able to load them in a trailer and it's gonna be way worse if you go to a horse show or you go somewhere exciting. So the way to work on this, I mean, obviously is just to practice it, but when you want your horse to lead forward, bring your hand forward, start walking forward. If your horse doesn't go, then you can either use like a crop or the end of your lead rope to give your horse a little tap. Make sure that you touch your horse behind the shoulder to send your horse forward. I mean, the ideal is that you stay between your horse's shoulder and head and they just rate with you. Okay, so to lead forward, hand goes forward, you start walking, you use the crop to follow through. To stop, raise your left hand up by your horse's eye and your horse should stop. If like raise your hand, you stop and then your rein. So it's kind of the same as like riding. It's first body language, which means I slow down, my hand goes up. If that doesn't work, then I'll use my reins. Good boy. So just practice some transitions. Walk, halt, rein back, walk. It should be like dancing, like you back up, like you see how he's following my body language. Good boy, good boy. And I promise you that when you have a connection with your horse on the ground, it's gonna carry over to the saddle. And for me, I don't wanna get hurt. I don't wanna get in a fight with my horse. And so I know that if I spend a little time with just simple stuff like this, you have to lead your horse around anyways. You might as well make sure they're paying attention to you. That's the first exercise. The second exercise is a pull release. So this is really important for when you're bridling your horse, when you're putting a halter on your horse. It's also important to help your horse relax because in general, when horses' heads are up, they're excited. When their head is down, they relax. 
So what you're gonna do for a pull release is you're gonna put one hand on top of your horse's head and then your other hand is going to go either on the halter nose band if you have a halter or you can put your hand on the bit. What you're gonna do is that every time you apply pressure, you want your horse to drop their head. So I'm gonna put pressure, release, the boy. Pressure, now he's looking off. So I'm gonna take a little, I want him to look back to me. I'm gonna put a little pressure, release. Pressure, release, good boy, good boy. So I do a pull release every time I put the halter on, every time I put the bridle on, and also any time I'm with my horse and I feel him get excited or externalized, I just ask him to drop his head down. And there, good boy. So those are two exercises that shouldn't take any more time than you regularly do. Now the third exercise involves asking your horse to bend and yield their hindquarters away from you. If you've taken any of my programs, I call this the inside rein connected to the inside hind leg. And this is such an important concept. I cover it a lot in my Groundwork Masterclass and really show you how to teach your horse this concept and how to develop it into something that you can really apply in your dressage riding. But the basic premise is that when you can control your horse's body, you can control their mind. And what it starts with is that whenever you're leading your horse or riding your horse and you take on the inside rein, you want to get that inside hind leg to move over. So I'm taking on my left rein and I want the left hind leg to move over like that. Good boy, good boy. And then make sure that you can do it on both sides. So now when I take on the right rein, I want my horse's right hind leg to move over. Good boy. If you haven't ever done this with your horse, it's gonna be a little tricky at first. Um, it's important that you stay stepping towards your horse and get your horse to move out away from you. You see how I can use a little bit the whip, like the end of my whip to ask him to move over. But this is again, something that like if, if I have a horse that I'm a little worried about riding, like if the horse is spooky, if the horse runs off, if I can't turn the horse, um, I check out this little bending exercise before I get on. Because if I can bend him and turn him, then I can stay safe. And it's super, super important that you stay safe and that you stay in control with your horse. So the inside rein to inside hind leg and that bending is gonna give you that control of your horse's body and of your horse's mind. So I hope this video has helped you guys do these three little things every day. It doesn't take any more time. It will help you with your ride and just to be more confident with your horse and more in control. Don't forget to check out the description, sign up for my free webinar on Sunday, January 8th, and check out the Dressage Groundwork Masterclass. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.